Good evening, subscribers and viewers. This is Fusman Matwasa. This is the first episode of Tales of the Beautiful Game, and today we'd like to focus on Sadio Mane's recent departure from Liverpool to Bayern Munich. The Senegalese striker joined Liverpool six years ago for £34 million pounds and left Bayern Munich recently for £35 million pounds on a three year contract. I uh, would like to to highlight some of these things that might have pushed the money out of Liverpool. Starting with his salary, uh, despite being one of the key figures in their recent success, Sadio Mane was Liverpool's 11th place Diana. And what you'll be getting at Bayern Munich in these three years is more than three times what he was getting at Liverpool through his salaries because it was reported that at Liverpool he was getting something like hundred thousand pounds per week and at Bayern Munich it has been said that he will be getting about three hundred and sixty thousand pounds per week now focusing on his contract uh, it is really, really strange how Liverpool let Mane's contract run to its final year if the club really, really uh, had hopes or, of him staying with them or if the club really, really thought that he was still one of their key players. It is something strange done by the club. Uh, it's not clear whether he was really they are one of, one of their key players or not. Then going to the clashes that he had with Mohamed Salah, Mane was left frustrated when Liverpool played Burnley in 2019 when he thought that he was in a better position to score but, but Mohamed Salah did not pass him the ball. And soon after that, he was taken off, he was substituted off. Something, some thought that showed that his manager, Yuken Klopp, was on Mohamed Salah's side. Uh, then going forward to being on Mohamed Salah's shadow, as some would say. Following Senegal's Afcon win over Egypt earlier this year, Mane reportedly asked his club Liverpool not to mention his Afcon success on their return to Anfield in respect to his teammate Muhammad Salah. Then when it comes to the relationship he had with his manager, Yuken Klopp, uh, earlier on this year, Yuken Klopp was heard saying in an interview, he was heard saying that Af Afcon AFCON was a league tournament. Uh, he was yet speaking like that. And based on how Sadio Mane loved, he loves his country and the continent as a whole, uh, it could have had an impact in their relationship. It could have had a, a, a huge, huge impact because it can be noted that when Mane won the AFCON, he said it was the best day of his life and it was the best trophy of his life so remember what Klopp said about that then looking at the at the way Mane was frustrated when he was taken off against Villarreal in the UEFA Champions League semi-finals uh, it showed it showed one of those frustrations that Mane had with Liverpool and with you, you, you can club as his manager. Then, turning to what Sadio Mane said himself after announcing his departure, Mane said he was leaving Liverpool because he wanted to face new challenges. He said he, he was still Liverpool's number one fan. And based on that, someone else can just make his or her own conclusion on what, what really pushed Sadio Mane out of Liverpool. 
is, is it what happened is, is it what the frustrations that he, he had at liverpool is, is it his relationship with you can club is it his salary is it his contract or is 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 the challenge that he is telling people that he wants to face thank you for watching till you meet again bye